Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Max Stories, and I'm your boy, Edward, a.k.a. Fresh. You know how we do every time. Well, on this uh, part of the world, we get to talk to people who are doing amazing things in their career and get, you know, to bring them one on one. Let them talk about it. Let them inspire lives. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be like a motivational speaker. It's not working. All right, so today... We have none other than, I'm sure you must have seen her on TV doing her thing, you know. She's always looking pretty on television. I mean, I think it's quite good. For those of us who like to watch TV, we get inspired by what we see. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than Esther. How you doing? I'm good. What's up? I'm good. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> yeah, all right, give me a high five. Yeah, yeah, freestyle, freestyle. So Esther, how you doing? Tell us, um, you are a model and vixen, right? As well as a dancer. As well as a dancer. Yes, yeah, that's true. I know I've seen a, a couple of videos where you were dancing. You know, the first thing that popped into my head was like, uh, no disrespect, though, but most dancers are not really very beautiful like that. So there's a bit of, I was a bit confused, but yeah. But you're also a dancer, model, and a vixen. All yeah. three together. How do you keep up? Which would you do first if they ask you? Either you dance, you model, you know, which one? Okay. Out of all three. I'll go for modeling. Modeling. Because it brings more money, right? It brings more money, more... It has more edge. Okay. In home and abroad. Yes, yes, yes. Than the vixen. Yes. And I go for dance because of the passion. Mm. So how long have you been doing this, or how doing this, you know, thing that you do? How long? Modeling, okay. dancing, Vixen, um, I'd start modeling over a decade, like Wait, over 10 years. That's like 10 years and a move. Yeah. Jesus! Thank God, go ahead. Okay. So that's um, like very little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 10 years okay. now. Okay. I went into video, um, musical video at um, 2014. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I'd start dancing over a decade too. Mm. Okay, that's quite. Uh, Interesting. Okay, so looking at uh, this, this, did you choose this career intentionally or you just fell into it? Because mm -hmm. let me tell you how my own journey started. I used to be a dancer. Then I got into acting. Then I ended up as a presenter. Now, I knew I was going to be on TV, but I didn't know which was the first step to take. So did you know that, okay, this is what I want to do and this is how I'm going to follow it? Was that already planned out? Yeah, I had I had the idea I was going to go into modeling, okay. full time modeling. Okay. Ever since I was young, I had the impression because I my teachers from primary school always encouraged me mm. then go for beauty pageants and. So oh, she, so you're the one that was telling class, all of you look at she's fine. Look at you. What did uh, your parents do? I was a <laughs> sports competition. Yeah. Say, no other person is going to be the queen. You see. <laughs> It's a bit biased. I was never king when I was uh, <laughs> Nobody cared. So it was like everybody already tagged me to be in that yeah, field. in that field, yes. So I decided to grow mm -hmm. myself in that field. Mm -hmm. When I was in secondary school, anything, beauty pageants, mm -hmm. outing for excursion, yeah. for um, extracurriculum activity, mm -hmm. I tried to attach myself with them so I can build. And when I finished secondary school, mm -hmm. I got scouted. Okay. With agencies that yeah. help me build my your, your modeling side. Yeah. Then the dancing side. How did that happen? You've been dancing from when you were yeah, little. Yeah, I oh. love dancing. Birthday parties. Hey, yeah, hey. You, you win the you win the money, and every other child is crying. Like, wah, wah, wah. So you, you knew know, you were good at it. People actually don't believe I dance because of how I look. You see, I said I it right. It was true. Okay, go on, go on. People don't believe I dance, but I really have passion for dancing mm -hmm. because it it makes me um speak language everybody understand because mm. it's very it makes me so emotional Aww. and brings out the passion in me again so <laughs> very emotional very emotional yeah so i built myself mm -hmm. on um, my dancing path okay because growing up i had been restricted to some things don't go out don't <sighs> do something yeah. so yeah i had no other choice than to build myself mm -hmm. like i got to check some videos on youtube Mm -hmm. rehearsals mm -hmm. then i had the opportunity to showcase what that side of me so far yeah. when i started musical video okay and people started seeing it and started hmm. encouraging me now about the music videos i have a lot of questions on that but let me ask this first one um now this uh the society basically would uh, want a child to grow and probably become a doctor a lawyer an engineer all that 
plenty, plenty, plenty. Now, did you ever have that kind of pressure from anyone that, hey, why didn't you, why are you not a doctor? Why are you not a lawyer? Why are you not really? This career part of yours, does the society take it as, okay, you are actually doing something with your life? Because, yeah, yeah you know how it is. Okay. I, I obviously have that kind of path yeah. growing up because okay. my father is a doctor and he always wanted me to see? be a doctor. My father is a soldier and wanted me to be a soldier. <laughs> Dream. <laughs> All right. So I had issues with school and mm -hmm. career. Yeah. Because my dad had wanted me to drop anything entertainment and just face Focus. school. Yes. So then he wanted me to go study mm. medicine. Wow. But it wasn't really working because it wasn't my thing. At all. But he was able to force me to go into the science department. Okay. Because my thing was actually art. Ah, you see? But last, last, now look at where you are. The science is history. And so mm. I'm able to study um, um, science laboratory technology for my father. Oh, good. Now I'm in Unilag. I okay. went to um, Java College of Technology. Okay. Now I'm in Unilag uni because I can't go out to art class to study mm, theater art. Yeah. It'll be a long journey. So yeah. now I'm doing a course human kinetics wow. in Unilag, which is almost similar to art mm. because it's like physical, physical, you know, thing. all yeah. that. Mm. So alongside, before school, I'd I'd been forced to work in the hospital. <laughs> just to have, I worked in the hospital for three years. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Just to have the experience. So, yes, it so is. Uh, on a side, what can you prescribe to me now if I have a headache, like as a doctor, three years I experience. was trained to be a nurse for like 12 months. And you I know, every time we hear a nurse to some very perverted people, they think about different things. Like, like nurses. Okay. No, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's leave that aside. I was aside. Us, actually. I was very... <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay. Every patient wanted me to come to them to treat them. I would them want you to I... treat me. Trust me. Like, treat me now. I want to be treated, you know? But then it was, it was always cool waking mm. up in the morning, going to the hospital to yeah. work. But yeah. it wasn't just my thing. Imagine being on duty that uh, you're still listening to music and thinking yeah, I have to go how to rehearsals when yeah, I'm to done. Do that. Like, yeah. It wasn't just my thing. So after about three years of everything and it wasn't still working to go study medicine, mm -hmm. I had to just drop and go do science laboratory technology. Okay. And now presently, I'm in uni lab. Yeah, human, human kinetics. So along, along the line, my father got tired and said, okay, you know understand. what, okay. I'm making your money out of what you like doing, yeah. just go do your thing. Hmm. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so now let's, let's move up to now. You were talking about music videos, right? And yes, uh, we see a lot of music videos these days, and we see the way the music videos are heading, the direction music videos are going. What do you mean, the direction? The dire <laughs> you know, back in the day, if you watch a music video and the lady just probably she's dancing and she turns around, that video will be banned on TV. You know that, right? Like, old days now. Now, turning around, this is, we don't care. If you like wear clothes, nah, we don't care. Right now, everything has gone. What do you call civilization? Yeah, so it is that civilization. Wow. Okay. okay. So looking at that now, that because of the society we're in, there's, uh, there's a notion that ladies who are on music videos are not, uh, not all of them are professional with what they do. And uh, it's more like, how would I say this and not sound a bit uh, too harsh? Don't worry, just sound. <laughs> it's more like uh, corporate prostitution. Okay. That's the term. Now, um, you've been doing this for quite a while. Do you get pressure from, uh, because they say people get pressure from directors, artists, blah, 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 to, you know, be, to share some... <laughs> You can't come to the video and not share gifts. <laughs> come and share something. Let people be happy. Has that yeah. does that happen? That do directors approach you inappropriately? Do act do the uh, artists approach you inappropriately because of the roles you get to play in these videos? Does that ever happen? You know, every, every time I go for interviews, mm -hmm. I get the same question <laughs> yeah. because everybody asks this question. But how funny! I've never found myself in this kind of situation hmm. where you say you have to share things. If you're good, you're good. People mm -hmm. know you for your work. If you can deliver, you mm -hmm. get any role you deserve. Hmm. So 
And there's a saying that says the way you present yourself to people is how yes. they will take you till True. the end. True. So if you if you're good and people know you're good for what you do mm -hmm. and you can deliver, they give you a role, you play the role perfectly well. You don't need to do mm. Um, you don't need to play around or <laughs> share things like he said. <laughs> Santa Claus. Yeah. Share so gifts. for me, I don't yeah. think I've ever found myself in that kind of situation. Uh -huh. Even for the fact that I'm, I'm like looking like this. Sometimes yes. people say you're looking different from other people. Like yes. I say, okay, it's normal. But the fact that I'm looking like this, I've never found myself in that kind of situation. But you know, sometimes Meeting. just after the video shoot, they just say, oh, let's go and turn up. It's no, no it's parry from there. You know, <laughs> Let me have your number. I've been professional. Yes. You need to be professional about your career. It's mm -hmm. what you do. Mm -hmm. We have different types of people, even in your in your organization True. here. You have some people who just come here because they want to learn. Mm -hmm. They came here because they just want to spend a um, short period of Pure time, time yes, and go. Yes, yes. People are here who want to work and still have their own organization yes. after that. So you yeah. can't compare this kind of two people. Mm. Some people just do the work because they want to get the money and leave. And leave Some yeah. people do the job because they want fame. Mm -hmm. Some people do it and still want to leave a footprint when they are done mm -hmm. and still train people. Mm -hmm. So depending on what background you're coming from mm. or what base you're coming from, mm. Now that's quite deep. Now, I was going to say that, I was going to cut you, but I let you finish because most times there's, the competition is very large, you know, and a director can tell you, I want you for my video. I say, yeah, how much? You just discuss the price. And they tell you that, okay, you know you're going to do this, but you know at the end we have to do that. And if you say, no, there's someone else just right there to get your spot. Now, does that happen? Do you, have you turned down jobs because of, you know, terms that you were not comfortable with it's yeah. normal i've okay. turned a lot of jobs down because maybe the pay is not good mm -hmm. or maybe i'm not in the mood to do that role mm. at that particular time mm -hmm. sorry the word a pay is not good like how much is the lowest pay you ever offer <laughs> lowest lowest i'm not asking for that, that that's in lowest. between that's that should be for me and my clients uh, you're not my client. let's, you're just, not let's just have this conversation the lowest <laughs> okay. amount you've ever been paid for uh, for a job, for like to be a model or video vixen, in the lowest amount. You know, that should You know, that the, should the, okay, it's fine. Let, let's just it's leave fine, that. It's fine, it's fine, okay, let's just leave that aside. Okay. Let's leave that aside. Oh. So like I was saying, yeah. the world spin around when everybody have time. Their time, yes. Their time. So when you have your time, just use it very well. Mm. Because the time will come when people will be like, I don't want to use it for now. And you're on a low key. After a while, mm. if you still keep working hard, mm -hmm. you rehearse, you do videos, they see that you're working at, they will still come back for you. Mm -hmm. Still falls back on what I said. If you're good, you're good. If you can True. deliver, even if they don't want you to do something on the screen, they can still call you to come train people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deep. All right, so now talking about uh, you, you, ha you have family support for what you do. Everybody, do they support you? Like, okay, yeah, that's my daughter. Yeah. Uh, your mom? Can I? Okay, now, because it's, um, mothers are very, very protective of their children, of their daughters, to be precise. Now, the first time your mom saw you on the screen, probably wearing a bikini, what did she say? That's my daughter! Jane! What did she say? How did she react? Or, or your she dad? Actually, she saw it on Instagram. She saw it on Instagram, and you didn't tell her before? So she munched it. And she sent it to you. And she told my brother. Okay. And she said, everybody just keep quiet. <laughs> so when I got home, she was like, yeah, how are you? Mm, you knew that so something was up. I, I had no idea. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> so everybody had gone to bed and she woke me up and she was like, I want to talk to you. Mm, so I, I, I saw something on Instagram. Mm. No, no, no. I already knew where she was going. So I said, no, no, no. Let me show you what. It's not what you He said, no, I have it. And when she... <laughs> She had and it. She was like, and I had to tell her, no, mom, mm. this is a job. Yeah. Like, I got paid for this job. Yeah. It's not like I can wear this out or do this on a normal day. It's yes. a job. I got paid for it. And look, it's like a legal company. It's not like, it's not, yeah. like hmm. I pray my God my to touch you. <laughs> my daughter, why? Once that goes on, she just let in and she mm. was like, it's your job, it's what you love doing. Yeah. Anytime I'm going for a job, she tell me, please be careful. That's the key word. Be careful. That's the key know word. Know where you're coming from. Know where you're going to. <laughs> yeah. And my dad would always tell me, I sent you to school. I didn't send you to go and dance. Mm. Just do it. <laughs> Daddy's, daddy's always like that. Mm. But whenever he sees me on TV and I'm dancing, I'll be like, please wait. Don't take that. Let me see that channel. That's my daughter. I'm seeing my baby. 
<laughs> but good. then it was done. I sent this girl to school to read. Mm. No, she's that. No, she's not she. What's all this? You know, but it's it's good that he has come to terms with it. That they yeah. understand that. It's a professional job. Yes. It's not just uh, to while away time. Because people say that that dancers, models, vixens are just doing this part-time before they find their feet in the actual world. So in your case, what is what is this for you? Is it like is it is it a lifetime, you know, process that you're going to do? Yeah, like right now I think I'm building my foundation for the future. Mm -hmm. This is my career. Mm -hmm. I obviously don't have any other place outside. Outside, I love dancing. Mm -hmm. So my future for dancing, if a time comes and I can't dance anymore, maybe when I get to the age of 50, I won't start coaching people yeah, how to dance. Yeah, that makes sense. I already I started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I already invested in a company, a registered okay. company. Okay. So now I don't have a place to go. Mm -hmm. This is my career. Mm -hmm. So if tomorrow no director wants to work with me anymore, Mm -hmm. I'll scout for new people, new faces. I'll yeah. train them in a way of how I started and how I managed mm -hmm. myself not to ruin my, Your career, my at career at the beginning stage. At the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to groom them True. to become a better person of me. Mm -hmm. So that way I'm not on TV anymore. People just know my name. People know that, okay, these people are coming from Esther. Mm -hmm. She's training them. She scouted them. Mm -hmm. They will know that, yeah. They, they must that, have gotten yes. enough experience yes. for them to be. And I'm going to also go with children, little children, to okay. teach children how to dance. Like, children are just the best part of people you can teach. We actually dance. love kids. <laughs> so, as, as, far as, they, as long as they're not our own, we love them from afar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We love kids. So, we love kids. I think I'm building my foundation right hmm. now. Hmm. So this is, like a, this is like the goal. This is the ambition. You are, are going to achieve all this. Yes. And this is what you want to do. So about the human kinetics, what happens to that uh, certificate when you have it? You just yeah, give it to your father? No. <laughs> that is still like it it's might, still a part of it's it. It's still though. a part yeah. of it. When I finish, I I might decide to just have a, a gym house. Okay. I might decide to be a coach. Okay. I can decide to go for Olympics. Ah. <laughs> well, that would be, would be a bad idea. Uh, help us um, do some yeah, things see, in the Olympics. Still in, in there. In there. Okay. In, so this off uh, the questions that I got. I just want to ask a personal question. After every, like, can you count how many videos you've done? Do you know how many? Plenty, are you? Yes. <laughs> okay. So now, after, you know, in when acting, right? We know that uh, some relationships have started off through set lives for some people, like Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, you know, uh, Joker Silva, Joker Jacobs, you know, and Olu Jacobs. You know, we have a couple of them who have started relationships from set. Now, as they by, there any chance have you ever gotten into anything? Um, any kind of relationship with anybody in that circle, maybe the artists, the directors, the producers, I don't know. Is it possible? Has it, has it ever happened? No, it hasn't. Do you exchange number? Yeah. I said, oh, call me later. I said, no problem. I'll send you a message. I, li yeah, I like right. business. <laughs> I like business. It depends on so, the kind of business. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. I like busy. business. Yeah, so, good. But for my, my, my models, yes. average, I class, yes. I like business. Hmm. So when you tell me, Give me your number. I you tell you straight. Think business wise. I tell you so you know I like business. Okay, so you don't. So when jump, when I tell you I like business, you, don't jump you already know. Side. Yeah, like, <laughs> you already know. So mm. if we're good friends from wherever we started, mm -hmm. good for for me and you. Mm. That means we'll have a long lasting friendship, business wise, and maybe. You know, I was going to be happy. I said long lasting. You know, yeah. friendship is come on. Yeah. You know, <laughs> though okay. I've not had any, but I yeah. don't know if I will still have. But yes. I've not had any. So currently, are you in a relationship? Yes. Yeah. And how does your boyfriend feel about your career? Is he comfortable? Yes. You sure? He likes it. Okay, brother. <clears throat> that's all I can say. It's comfortable. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So, um, to to wrap this up, though, to wrap this up, now that uh, you are out there as a model, a vixen, and a dancer, right? Um, it's the new year. It's 2018. It's just like four months into the year right now. So tell us, what is there to expect from you personally now? Like, what is there to expect? Okay. You want to be doing more videos? Are you going to be shooting stuff? Because I know that people, um, dancers do like dance videos to do dance covers to people's songs and stuff like that. So yeah. what are you going to be doing that like, we should look out for? So okay, okay Esther is going to be dropping this. Let's <sighs> 
This year, I already planned it was going to be for my company. Okay. And it's still going to be for my company. Okay. This year, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to groom new models, new okay. talents. Mm -hmm. I'm training them to become professionals mm -hmm. and scouting them to um, bigger agencies to okay. help them build their careers. So that is what I'm dedicating this year to. Mm -hmm. And I have great teams that have been working with me. Mm -hmm. Makeup artists, editors, yeah. website build, people who build websites. Mm -hmm and other departments. So okay. we are all doing this together to bring new face mm -hmm. for, for the whole modeling, the modeling dancing, dance and, and dance. Mm. So are you happy with the money you make from this thing? Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. The money's all right. Yeah, it could be better. It could be better, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Okay. I really enjoyed the interview, right? Thank right. you. And yes, I was going to ask for your number now, but I don't need new friends. Right. Business. I don't need new friends. You don't need new friends? No, I don't need new friends. Okay. I don't need new friends. I can be a better one, you know? <laughs> who haven't you worked with in the industry? Who would you like to work with? Artists, directors, producers, who would you like to work with? Okay, let's stick with the artists first. Artists, mm. who haven't I worked with? You see, that's the question. <laughs> I see you on every video. Like, <laughs> well, on this one, you're there. On that one, you're there. Like, okay, so if you've probably worked with everyone within okay. the country, Probably in Africa. Yeah, I just want to, I want to do a video with Beyonce. Ah. <laughs> I want to work with Chris Brown. Okay. Mm. <laughs> like I want to, I, I just want to dance in their video. Then. Mm. Okay, I'm I'm here ready. Beyonce, Chris Brown. Yeah. All right. I, I think I can work it out. I'll call him up and Please, just do that already. Let I me know. Let me do something. You know what I mean? Just say, hey, yo, Chris, I have someone for you that can make it happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Okay, so those are the people you like to work with. So yes. amongst everyone you work with in Nigeria, who would you say was the best uh, person you work with in Nigeria, all the artists? I think you were in um, Files' video, right? Yes, I know. I saw you. Hmm. So who, who was the best for you? Like you enjoyed working with the person? I work with everybody and I just mm. don't pick. Because there's some of them that you see them, they are proud first. You just hate their guts. I don't, I don't, I yeah. don't reason that way when I'm working. You're only just business. Mine <laughs> is, business. I deliver my own path. Yes. I'm not looking at your bad vibes. Okay. I'm only seeing your positive vibes so that I can give you my own positive vibes. Mm. So I really don't have time to start looking at your bad vibes because mm. if I do, I won't give my best. Mm. So everybody's like the same when I'm working. God, I wish I can walk like that. Because I have people in this office. Oh, God. <laughs> As in, we should be fighting every day. And they just come, they're looking for my trouble up and down. But I try to survive, probably. I think I'll, I'll take what you said. Just look at the good side. And so when you do that, you'll probably be the best. Like, anything no, you do. Regardless, I'm actually the best. You know what I mean? But <laughs> regardless, I'm the best. So if I do that, i just be the super best. How about that? How about that? It's good. It's good. High five. <laughs> All right, babes, thank you for your time. I really appreciate you coming through. And we hope that as this journey don't start, you started it, you probably get to where you want to go. All right? Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Okay. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.